Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm gonna do, uh, it's not really a teaser, but it's not really what I'm shooting for, but it'll be a dual channel release. So I'll release it on Red Barn Homestead and also Turbo 231. Uh, what I have here are a pair of 3,500 watt generators. Um, Lowe's, I'll tell you the backstory. So the actual video, when I actually start this thing, will be act, you know, just more specific. But uh, at Lowe's.ca, uh, they had these guys, a flyer came through the mail, they had them on sale. Uh, they're $6.99 or $5.99 regularly, but they were on sale down to $399 or something like that. An online promotion, coupon if you will, uh, was free shipping and all the tax was gone. So long story short, this was delivered to me for $308 Canadian. So if you translate that to American, that's $250 bucks for a uh, 3500 watt running. Uh, Surge at 4450 is what I'm guessing. Uh, comes with a little cart and uh, uh, wheels and a little cover for it. Uh, why it's pertinent to Red Barn Homestead is because it's gonna be used for our uh, 72 hour survival. So if the power goes out, we'll have a means to at least hopefully keep the house warm with electric heaters and be able to run freezers and other materials like that. Five gallon tank says at 50% load, it runs for 14 hours. Has a bottle opener. Okay, I'm not sure that's a selling feature, but awesome. And for the reviews on the website, it is actually a nice little unit. So <clears throat> it's got like 155 reviews. Uh, it has two bad ones, but the manufacturer was actually on top of that and, and in theory worked to help remedy the situation. So um, what we have here is a, it's a, a screen that tells voltage, the megahertz, the hours, and if it's got low oil, the hours is pretty cool. Uh, uh, 120 volt. Uh, whatever plug that is, an L530R, which I'm guessing these are both RV style related, a TT30R, that's just for RVs, and then uh, a 20 amp, uh, just a regular style uh, of outlet that we're going to use extension cords for to be able to plug into the house there. It says it's a 20 amp, so uh, it would be able to, in theory, run, uh, you, know, a, you know, basic stuff around the house just one at a time. Uh, comes with oil, actually real tools, I'm told. Uh, and so that's probably kind of cool too. But, but this is more of an unboxing video because I actually want to open it and get the manual out and read it before I actually do anything with it. So uh, this one is mine and then this one is the mother-in-law's because um, they're not far away and it makes sense for them as well and it was a great deal at the time. So if I can not cut myself with this really crazy sharp knife, that would be awesome. So in the box, when you open it, tape. Hopefully there's not a little needy uh, Chinaman or Mexican in here. What we have is more cardboard. That's what I wanted. We have cardboard. Cool beans. And open up the top and that's just a holder. Bam! The manual, which is actually what I want to read tonight before I actually shoot a video on how to do this thing. It's a quick reference guide. There might be a thicker one in there, I don't know. Okay. Before you do anything, oh, removing the shipping supports. And I've told they're actually real bolts too, and they do supply wrenches that can get rid of that. Five gallon tank. Lid, which you need. Minimum 87 octane. And the whole thing is actually in a big plastic bag. And hey, hey, a box of tools. Let me trip this up. This is hard to do with the camera. Come do with a box of tools. That's cool. And then looks like the remainder of the box is exactly that. It's just this cool little generator that we're going to be playing with tomorrow. Fantastic. So back to Mr. Sharp Knife here. It's Furman brand or Furman. Furman. I'd never heard of it before. It appears to have also a no-name engine. Uh, which, honestly, I haven't had a lot of bad luck with. Just do what you normally do for any engine and take care of it. You know, make sure it's got oil, make sure it's got nice gas in it. So far, like I said, the reviews are really good on it, so it's not to say that it's a pile of crap, it's not. All right, so it's all wheels hanging out the other end here. So we pull out the cover. So it does come with a cover, so if you leave it somewhere, like by your RV or something like that, I guess. It's even got the Furman brand. Furman. Next up is the plastic funnel. My guess is for oil, because the gas is clearly square on top. 
the oil bottle is located here. So far, everything's spelled correctly. So good job wherever you are in China for uh, properly using Google Translate to translate Chinese into English. Appreciate that. Very excited. We have a brand name. Or not. Ho ho! If you're ever gonna keep one as a collector item, you're gonna wanna keep this oil. It's Furman brand 30, 10W30 weight engine oil. So um, we'll read the instructions. If this thing is uh, good to go for really, really cold, usually they don't like to do that 10W30. They'll wanna creep down to a five or so. We'll see. We have bolts. I'm guessing these are for the handle. And then we have a big round thing. Wow, imagine that, it's a wheel and directional, so that's gonna be on the outside, so it's pretty. One would hope we'd find another wheel. Sure enough, hey, there's another wheel, so that's cool beans. Oh, yeah, these are also bolts for the wheels, duh. Okay, I'm getting there. Keep digging. We have the handle. So it does have a two-wheeled cart, so you'd lift up on this and yank that thing around. Cool. Anything else in my box? Oh, oh there it is. And the vacuum wrenches at this point. We have, uh, okay, front feet. So this is what the front sits on when it's uh, not being lugged around by you. That's it for that. Okay, so, bye. So we've got the handle there. I'll probably drop my knife in the generator. Cool. Uh, the front seats and all that stuff. The oil bottle with the Furman brand oil. And then we have this guy here. So now I gotta find my knife. And when I found my knife, I'd piled crap on it. So it was just right there, actually. So. Judging by looking down the box, there's nothing in the corner, so. Goodbye returning you. Actually, it was shipped to me. I don't want to have to ever return it. Okay, so there's one cut. There's nothing down this side, so let's cut this side here. All right, for hitting a staple. Neat. Oh, there's some tools, so. We have more presents from the generator people. Sweet. Keep the knife into this side here so we don't cut anything. Okay, let's uh, put it forward a little bit in the box. Uh, there we go. Now we got lots of space to cut. Keep hitting steeples, Ben. That's the way to do it. Mark. And I actually don't need to cut the so that's cool. Alright, so for time's sake. So here we have her. Sweet so far. I have several generators, by the way. They're way back there. I've got an Onin and then one with a Briggs and Stratton 10 horsepower, but they're just not reliable. They're toys. So here I have the actual instruction booklet, the owner's manual. For a man, owner's manual. Judging by the clanking around. I have the spark plug tool and I have some wrenches, which I'm told are cool. So yay for me. Uh, and product registration and all that cool stuff. So. Cool. Didn't put it on my knife because I'm smart. All right. My styrofoam wiggles out. The chickens are excited. They're all like, hey, you want to eat anything? Pop. Cool. So, I'm told this unit runs at 67 decibels, which is actually fairly nice. And I was kind of looking at it in the store, and that is a fairly big muffler. So, I'm pleased with that. A uh, large generator, which I imagine is fairly generic for generators. Oh, okay, I love this. And I'm not selling this thing, but it's got Furman on the motor. On the valve cover here, overhead valve Furman. So, awesome, actually. That's neat. It's not just a generic piece of crap they threw onto their thing and put some stickers on it. It's actually in the, in the valve cover, so that I like a lot. Um, fuel lines, of course. Uh, using a generator indoors can kill you. Did you know that? I did, kind of, so, yeah. Uh, pull this side here. I'm just pulling the styrofoam. No harm in that. Here we have it. It is a recoil start. Well, for $308 Canadian, what do you expect? A sticker indicating um, off, off, and... Down would be on. Yeah, okay, gotcha. So it's just a little ball valve. Enjoy your frosty cold beverage after hard days, hard days work or as you hit the weekend. All our best, your friends at Furman. Power on demand. 
Wow, man, that is amazing. That's cute as a button. Uh, read the engine operator manual before yanking on this thing. It's no oil in it, right? No gas either, so. Um, and the fuel pickup's on the bottom of the tank to start, so this looks like it's a uh, choke. Pretty stiff choke, but a choke. And there's an air filter that leaves in here. Clean filter every 50 hours. Oh, I see, that's the bottle opener, I get it. So cute. Why would you go through the effort of that? That's very, very adorable. Okay, so we get that. We also have some styrofoam on the bottom, which isn't going to show me anything. That looks like an oil drain hole, so that's fairly important. There might be one on the other side, too. And with a spark plug wrench, <laughs> yeah, because it's really in there. Looks like it's one of those you take the gas tank off of it to do it, which is fine. Uh, cause the gas isn't really much it's something you do a lot of. Looks like it's got a gas gauge in it. Fantastic. You can see there's a little red guy in there. It says it's empty. And that's actually not even a sticker. It's a little bubble thing. And then when it's mostly full, it's over here. So you can just look at it and see if it's got gas. You don't even have to open the lid. Big no to E15 or E85 gas. Oof. And I have stuck on the cardboard a little bit. Okay. And I just rotate it around. And here we have the front. Um, this is that volt output, presumably hertz, so that'd be hopefully 60. The H would be hours, and if it has low oil, you have to turn it on. Makes sense. Neutral, bonded to frame, fair enough. RV or whatever. They have little their logo with the Furman on the plugs there too. Uh, that's the RV ACCA 30 amp power, whatever. Ground if you needed it to the frame. I don't know what that's used for. Look that up again. I've used it. Oh, it's outdoor. My uh, pull pump had that once. And then I think we have a 20 amp outlet here. So that's what you can plug your cool stuff into. And we get some more styrofoam that's going to be hard. Oil level slash checker. This is where our feet, uh, wheels are going to go here, no doubt. The front bumper, and I believe there is some uh, that suspension, but I do believe there's some bolts you have to remove to get it going. So awesome! This is like a really long video, but it's the unboxing of a generator, which is an amazing toy, <laughs> if you will. Sea foam for sure. They've got some other cool. This is mine. <laughs> Accessories, the gas tank, um, stuff you can power with it. Ooh, even fans, we think about that. 208 cc overhead valve, Max Pro series, which is a Furman brand motor. Really gotta look this up. So, engineered in North America, built for performance, made in China, all rights reserved. Product style and configuration may vary. So, they're out of uh, Peoria, Arizona. FurmanGenerators.com. So, Cool beans, all right, so enough me blabbing about the teas here. Next video will be uh, actually moving it to uh, itself or leaving it on the cart and moving mine off and getting it ready and firing it up and doing a little testing on that. If you guys have any questions, you probably don't yet because you're gonna wait for the next video, go ahead and ask them. Subscribe to either channel, Turbo 231 or Red One Homestead for our 72 hour emergency generator. Um, and you guys subscribe and have a good day.